you know, the work that you are needing for yourself, the work that you are needing for you, it's going to require you to do it. I know that sounds fun. I know it sounds crazy, right? Like, why would you want anything or anyone else outside of you to do the work that you need to do? And for the chosen ones, we have been living in this world of, you know, confusion, right? Before we woke up, you know, because there was an awakening. I don't know about you, but for me, there was an awakening that happened to me, right? And I talk about it on one of my um, shorts. And, you know, so many people are talking about this awakening. And, you know, that, that awakening is, you know, God waking up his chosen. God is waking up the ones that he has sent, right, to... To, to do a great work in this land, to do a great work in this world, to be the light in this world. Because, you know, there's so much darkness going on. It's time for the chosen ones to arise and it's time for the chosen ones to wake up and walk into their full power, walk into their full divinity. That's why some of you are being isolated. That's why some of you just feel weird all of a sudden because, you know, you're waking up. You're waking up. That's why so many of you are feeling like you need to leave a certain relationship. You need to leave the relationship you in, you're in because there's no peace for you. There is no peace for you. So that's why you have to leave. You don't understand it. I think something is crawling on me. <laughs> I'm out in nature, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't want to kill it. That's nature. You don't kill living things, you know? <laughs> Only thing I give you permission to kill is a snake. All right? <laughs> but, um... Yes, so many of you are waking up and you don't understand what you're dealing with. You don't understand this transformation that you're going through. And the transformation that you're going through is an awakening. You're the chosen one, right? You're not going to find this information in church because it's not in church. It's not in the church building, right? And I'm, I'm not speaking against the church because I go to church. <laughs> I go to church faithfully. But there is something happening with God's chosen ones. There is this awakening. There is this power. There is this authority. There is this freedom. There is this healing that you are getting and you don't know where it's come from. It comes from it comes from the spiritual. It comes from the divine. You know this stuff sounds spooky, but it's all biblical. Right? When you're when you're being healed, not not you're being well, you are. You're being healed in your spirit. And people may not understand you because they're used to you being, you know, mom. They're used to you being, you know, dad. They're used to you being sister. They're used to you being a certain way. But there's a transformation happening in you. And it's requiring you to just leave everyone. It's requiring you to get from around everyone. All of this energy, your spiritual energy, you can feel certain things more heightened. You've always had it. But more, more so, it's more, you're more sensitive now. And you realize that you can't be around everyone. And it's okay, you know? It's okay. It's not that you hate people. It's not that you hate your relatives because they're related to you by blood. But God is trying to send you a new family. This is more of your spiritual family, people who are going to understand you. And no, this is not that you say you deny or you forget your relatives. No, you don't forget them. You don't forget about them. You love them and you meet them where they are. But as for you, the chosen one, God is doing a new thing in you. And you can't be around your relatives at this moment. He's requesting and he's requiring that you go and find your family or you be in tune so your family could find you. Right? So your family could find you. You have to catch this spiritually. And only the people who are listening to this is going to understand the difference between relatives and the difference between family. And at this time, you need your family because your family is going to understand what it is that you're going through without making you feel like you're weird and spooky, right? Because you are, you are different. You're not a weirdo, but you do have, you do come off as people not understanding you. You are a peculiar person. People not understanding you and you wanting people to understand you is no longer going to be something that you require. Because you know, when you had that awakening, God has given you this understanding. You know who you are now. You have more confidence and you have more assurance of who you are. And you have to walk in that. So you have to come find these videos like here on the Responsibility Channel or other people who are awakening and realizing, right, there is a spiritual awakening going on. That God is doing a new thing in the earth with his chosen ones. 
and you have to be okay with that. You have to receive that. Stop running from it. You can no longer run from your divinity. You can no longer run from your divine power. That's why he's, that's why he's trying to isolate you so you can heal and so you can realize everything that you have gone through since your childhood. It is to serve you for such a time as this. It is time for you to arise. It is a time for you to awaken. And it's a time for you to walk in your authority. This is the time. Don't run from it. Let God guide you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. He's guiding you for a reason. That's why he isolated you away from church at this moment. He's going to send you back to the correct house, right? But he's isolated you so he can do that work in you. So you won't be so dependent on the pastors and the preachers and the, the evangelists and the missionaries. First, you need to heal you so you won't be taking everything that these people say to you. You won't be taking it personal. You won't be putting all of your hope and trust in men as in mankind, right? You won't be putting all your hope and trust in them because you will know that they are human, that they, that they are flawed, and that if, you, if they say something that offends you, either you're going to address it or you're just going to not take it to heart, right? So it's time for you to awaken and arise, chosen one. It's time for you to walk in your authority, your divine power. It is time for you to walk in your strength, and it's time for you to heal.